Welcome back. You're still watching Good Morning Namibia as a certified life coach, author, inspirational writer. Sarah's impact extends far beyond her professional roles. She is passionate about advocating for innovation, leadership and women empowerment, recently receiving the prestigious Ambassador of, the, of Parliament Award of Honour at the African Union Commission on Science and Culture Award in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Sarah's dynamic work blends with faith, leadership and empowerment, making her an ideal role model for aspiring leaders and change makers across Africa and beyond. She now joins us in studio to talk to us about her remarkable journey and also the work that she does. Well, Sarah, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amazing. Talk to us about the entire award, the Ambassador of Parliament Award. Well, um, the award is with the Jet Age Nation Builders uh, in collaboration with the African Union Commission, mm -hmm. the Simulation 2063 Agenda, which talks about the Africa we want. Yeah. So it's all about, you know, making Africa a global powerhouse, the mm -hmm. future that we see. So this parliament was put together just to spearhead and push this project on the agenda 2063, the Africa that we want. So I'm so glad and honored to have received this recognition, to be part of that parliament, which is made up with a lot of young people. Yeah. So. Talk to us about your journey. How did you become part of the parliament? You are a multi-talented, um, you, you basically wear so many hats. You mm -hmm. are a life culture an author, yeah. you are an NLP practitioner. How do you balance all these roles in life, uh, in life and also just engage in more roles? Well, I would say it's, it really stems from a place of passion. And mm -hmm. I guess maybe that's how I was, I was noticed as well, to be honored with this award, is uh, it comes from a place of passion and purpose, knowing my purpose in life and really wanting to impact and touch other people's lives. Yeah. So um, it's all about managing my time well, knowing what matters most each and every day. And with that, whether it's writing, I use my writing to inspire people, whether it's coaching, you know, mentoring people, or project management, I, you know, I wear these different hats uh, as the need arises. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. What does this recognition mean for you, both personally and professionally? Well, for me, it means that, you know, it makes me realize that whatever it is I am doing uh, with the coaching mm -hmm. and, you know, with the company that I, I run, that it's actually touching and imparting people's lives. And it also, you know, brings some sort of validation that, okay, what it is that I'm doing is, you know, relevant in the community. And with that, it also opens doors, you know, to even touch more people across Africa beyond Namibia. Yeah. So it's, it's really, it means a lot to me. Yeah. So what inspired you to start Charisma Trading Enterprise? And also, how does it align with the broader vision of empowerment and development in Africa? Uh, so what inspired me to start it? was really just my passion for, you know, seeing people, you know, start from small and grow, you know, grow in life. Because where we are today, uh, you know, let me say with society, society has a lot of expectations of people, you know, and people go through a lot of challenges, especially with youth nowadays, you know, the issues that you hear amongst young people. So I started this just to really motivate and inspire people. You know, I'm a person of faith, so to help people discover their purpose in life and, you know, to be who God has called them to be. So through this, there's a lot of coaching, mentoring. So yeah. that's what I really use this uh, uh, company, you know, to do, to touch people. Yeah, and not only that, you also touch people through your writing, yes. you know, seeing that you're an author and you're, an also a po and you're also a poet. But how do you see the power of storytelling in shaping the society as well as driving change? Well, the power of storytelling, I would say, um, it really carries a lot of power because each person has in, an individual story to tell. But you know, a lot of times we don't know what platforms can we use to really bring our opinions out. So I really believe that there's power in storytelling because everyone has a unique journey, a unique story that can inspire somebody else. Mm -hmm. So through sharing your story, your experience, you never know who is the next person you're inspiring. So through storytelling, I've been able to inspire others. You know, when we talk about the African Union Agenda 2063 that talks about the Africa we want, I didn't even know that, you know, all of this was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I used to write back like years ago about 
about, you know, Africa, uh, shifting Africa from the back seat to the front seat. I would just, you know, write these articles and put them in the newspaper, not knowing that, you know, some people would pick it up and be like, oh, okay, no, we want to know more about this and we want to have you on board. So storytelling really carries power. It can also change the narrative. When we talk about be the change you want to see, you can be the change you want to see even through what you write, yeah. through sharing your story. So, yeah. Amazing. Now you've worked with several organizations on different initiatives and projects that are definitely bringing change to the world, not only the world, but specifically Africa. Can you just talk to us about one of the projects that stood out for you? Uh, well, I've worked on a number of projects. I've worked on projects in the United Kingdom as mm -hmm. well. Um, projects such as um, we, we, we work on global brands, you know, we help even African brands to, you know, shine small scale businesses to yeah. really bring themselves on a global stage. And then also working with young people, I think that's one of my greatest passions. Uh, I work on a project called the Faith Tribes. It's a community of youth from the ages 16 to 35. We really help young people to discover their purpose in life and to pursue, you know, their career path, and, you know, just giving them guidance and so forth. So it's really been a great journey also working with university students and, you know, helping them day by day. All right. Yeah. In your experience, what would you say is the most powerful thing that individuals can do just to create positive change when it comes to their communities? I would say lead by example. Yeah. So a lot of times we talk about change, but many people don't understand that in order to you know, foster change, it has to begin with you. So be the change you want to see. I always say this, that your perception mm -hmm. creates your reality. So whatever you perceive, the way you see life, the way you treat you know, others, it will ultimately determine the type of society you live in and what happens around you. So we must be the change that we want to see and we must lead by example. All right. Well, Sarah, this is definitely not the last time we're having you. <laughs> Thank you so um, much. Good morning, Namibia. We love the work that you're doing. Thank Congratulations you so Thank you. on the awards again. And we can't wait to see you, you know, bring about the Africa that you also want to see and be wow. in. Thank you so much. I'm All grateful. Right. All right. Well, good morning. Nobia continues after this. Let's not forget that Carol is still doing his live painting and he is doing it live right here on Good Morning Nobia, something we've basically, you know, never seen. I've never seen. It is coming to life slowly but surely. We will bring you the entire that is painting at the end of the show, but that is the progress he is making as of late. We do see ice there. Amazing. Carol doing his thing.